Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and these past few days, particularly today for some reason, it has been absolutely insane when it comes to spurious, or at least likely spurious, DMCA takedowns. The Act Man receiving a DMCA strike over his uploading his own recording of a debate and discussion between himself and Andy Pants Gaming. We've had Iron Mouse receive numerous DMCA strikes to her channel, and her channel was temporarily terminated on YouTube, although it has been restored as of recently. We've also seen Oh No It's Not Alex and Josh Edits receive a DMCA strike from that generic Eric. And we've got, of course, the spurious DMCA strike filed by Broken Games as a against Fritanga Plays. Now, a lot has happened over the course of the weekend, but the biggest news of the video, which if that's all you need to hear, I'll go ahead and front load that for you, is that Broken Games as a has rescinded his DMCA claim against Fritanga Plays. And Fritanga's video has been restored and is currently viewable on YouTube. And a link to that restored video will be in the pinned comment down below. However, this was no massive change of heart on the part of Broken Games. As a, it does appear to be the case that his reasoning for backing down were due to, well, other factors. But let's get everyone caught up to speed on what happened. Of course, I posted my video discussing the DMCA takedown and my own fair use analysis of the video in question. After that, attention started pouring in on social media coming from viewers and other content creators alike, including Mischief, It's a Gundam, The Act Man, Oh No, It's Alex, and a few others. In response to this, Broken Games is uh, still under the delusion that he had any form of control whatsoever over the situation, had apparently stated that he was open to discussing the removal of the copyright strike, but that it was going to be under terms. And the condition he was attempting to leverage was apparently an apology from Fritanga Plays. Now, I say delusion of control because of the following. Now, first, the only control Broken Games had at this point certainly wasn't over what was going to happen with the DMCA strike. As stated in my previous video, a counter notification was already going to be filed and Fritanga Plays was merely waiting until today so an attorney could file the counter notification on his behalf to prevent his personal information from being disclosed to Broken Games. As a. That was going to happen and just as YouTube has a requirement to act on good faith beliefs of copyright infringement unless they choose to step in and waive their own safe harbor protections for the content, they also have a requirement to restore a DMCA video if the counter notification presents a good faith belief and argument that the content is indeed fair use. Now, at that time, YouTube notifies the claiming party in this instance that would be Broken Games as a, that a counter notification has been filed and they now have 10 days to provide court paperwork showing a lawsuit has been filed if you would want to keep the video down. After those 10 days, if no lawsuit paperwork is provided to YouTube, the strike is removed from Fatanga's channel and the video is restored. That is a process that Broken Games as a, had zero control over unless he wants to try and go the Acer Thorn route, and as little intellect as I have seen from him over this scenario, I highly doubt he's quite as stupid as Acer Thorn. A few people would be without a knitting needle inflicted lobotomy. So in regards to that, he simply wanted to try to regain control of a situation he had lost control over and demand an apology from Fritanga Plays, which an apology could be used as an admission of guilt, so I'm very glad Fritanga Plays did not fall into that trap. Now, after those discussions broke down, publicly it was banter for quite some time. That is, until yesterday when Broken Games as a decided to release the DMCA claim he had filed against Fritanga Plays. Now, in this, Fritanga is far kinder than I ever would be under similar circumstances, and I can respect his wanting to promote the people on that podcast that aren't arrogant blobs upon scum. However, Broken Games as a did not learn anything here. His attitude did not change. He is in no way more relatable or supportable now than he was when he filed the Spurious DMCA takedown. In fact, he's even less supportable now. The reason being is, and unfortunately I cannot show you the images because I promised I wouldn't, but I do have them saved in case I ever actually need to go back on my word in order to defend my own credibility and honesty here. Yeah, I never make a statement like this unless I can back it up, but I promise not to show it, so I won't unless somebody tries to claim I'm lying, in which case I will. The reason why Broken Games as a decided to retract the takedown was because it was impressed upon him that the heat he was calling down on his own head by acting like a little bitch with a skinned knee would end up causing a great deal of harm, possibly irreparable harm, to his own channel. And it is because of that statement that he realized that it would be in his own best interest to not continue digging his heels into the sand and pretending like he was doing anything of value. 
all the while ignoring the illegality of his own actions and funnily enough, through motivated self-interest of protecting his own channel and whatever reputation he might have left, dodged a potential bullet in that regard as the legal harm he had inflicted to Fertanga Plays had been removed by him, meaning any potential lawsuit against Broken Games as a by Fertanga would have a dramatically decreased likelihood of success. And unfortunately, through all of this, nothing will ultimately change. Broken Games is, a, is not a better person having learned how clearly in the wrong he was, his personality and patterns of behavior, this having been the third channel he has attempted to pull this on through his content creation career, will continue on unabated. And because of that, I feel it's only a matter of time before another small YouTuber at some point in the future finds themselves right back here again standing where Fertanga Plays was less than 24 hours ago with Broken Games as well once again abusing the DMCA and wielding it like a hammer to silence the opinions of those he does not like. Not to protect his copyright, but to assuage his own fragile little ego. Small men do small things after all, and Broken Games is a, is a very small man indeed. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.